Hello everyone, welcome to our new session for 5 day C uh, question series for ARD and um, my name is Hansa Nora Samwan and I've done my masters in agriculture. So today's topic is seed production and I'll be, I've created five most important questions based on this topic. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and share with your friends. So the first question is seed, what seedlessness in, in fruit is called as number A, parthenogenesis, number B, parthenocarpy, number C, apophysis, and number D, none of these. So I've put up a picture here on the side. You cannot see um, none of, uh, any of the seeds here in watermelon as well as in the pineapple. This condition is known as seedlessness. It means it, uh, there's an absence of seeds in the fruits. Okay, so um, before going to the answer, let's discuss each of these terms properly. This comes under the uh, reproduction of uh, fruits or reproduction of crops. All right, so the first thing is parthenogenesis. What is parthenogenesis? So parthenogenesis, a process of the development of a um, new individual from an unfertilized ovule or an egg. So it's a production, uh, production or a new individual from unfertilized egg. So that this is parthenogenesis. Uh, it may be um, in plants as well as in animals as well. So they usually produce um, a haploid, so which in turn uh, bans it from having sexual reproduction. All right. So parthenocarpy is a development of an um, unfertilized ovule into a fruit. Uh, development of unfertilized ovule into a fruit all right and usually uh, we, it's also known as the vigor fruit and um, they usually have this condition called seedlessness where they produce fruits without any seeds as you can see in this uh, in the case of this watermelon and pineapple right and moving on to apomyxis. Apomyxis, it's a mechanism uh, by which seeds are produced asexually. Okay, the seeds are produced asexually. These are genetically identical and they produce a mother clone. Right, so the answer for this would be Parthenon. Carpi produces seedlessness. Some of the examples of Parthenocarpi would be apples, um, pomegranate, uh, you say watermelon, pineapple. Okay. So moving on to the next question. Uh, it says blue color certificate is issued for which of the following seeds? All right. So before this, there's one thing which I would want to discuss with you all. That is the classes of seeds right so there are about um five classes the first one is breeder the, sorry the first one is nucleus seed then comes the breeder seed then comes the foundation seed and then registered And last, certified seed. So usually these are the five classes, five classes of uh, seeds. All right. So the blue color certificate is issued for which of the following seeds? So for nuclear seeds, it's usually a, uh, they issue a pedigree certificate, All right? And for a breeder seed, they uh, issue a golden. Colored 
certificate or tag. For foundation, it's white. For registered, it's purple in color. And for certified, it's blue in color. All right. So the answer for this question would be certified seed. All right. So uh, let's go in detail about uh, what these class uh, in detail about these classes and what these actually mean. Right. So the first one says nucleus seed. The nucleus seed. This is um, hundred percent genetically pure seed with physical purity and produced by the original breeder or an institute or state agriculture university from the basic nuclear stock. Right. So it is hundred percent genetically and physically pure all right and so the progeny of nucleus seed is known as the breeder seed all right so this is the uh, progeny of the nucleus seed which is multiplied in a large area as per the intent of a department of agriculture or the ministry by the government of india all right so after this the progeny of this breeder seed is known as the foundation seed. All right, and these are pro produced by a recognized seed producing agencies, whether it may be a, a public sector or a private sector. Okay, these are usually done under the supervision of uh, seed certification agencies only. All right, and these are meant. These are. Uh, in, okay, in such a way that it is uh, that its quality is maintained according to the prescribed field and seed standards. Okay, so the registered seeds they are the progeny of foundation seeds. All right, so the progeny of foundation seeds and it is handled as to maintain its genetic identity and purity according to the standards specified for the particular crop being. Certified, all right. So the last one is certified seeds. Certified seeds are the progeny of foundation seeds, and these are produced by registered seed growers under supervision of seed certification agencies to maintain the seed quality as per the minimum seed certification standards. All right. So questions may come uh, on the basis of the color of the tags, or it may come as the on the basis of its genetically genetical purity as well. So you have to uh, go a bit in detail about all these classes of seeds. Okay, moving on to the next question. For this question, I would uh, like you all to um, re uh, study more in detail about the organizations of and seed production okay so there are various organizations which are related to the seed production so uh, let's go to the question so um, international seed testing association was organized or founded on which of this year so the uh, the options are a 1948 Second is 1918, the third one is 1924, the fourth one is 1962. So the correct answer would be 1924. Okay, so one thing I want to tell about this uh, International Seed Testing Association is it's one of the first, it's actually the first international organization for seed, uh, seed uh, production and technology, right? So this is the first one, international organization. For Seed technology and production. All right. So moving on to the next question, um, I would request you all to simultaneously make uh, keep on writing whatever I'm writing it here and whatever I'm explaining, so that it'll be easier for you all. And uh, for this question, I would like you all to answer in the comment section. Please don't forget to comment the answers. So let me just read out the question for you. Which of the following is national? organization is a national organization involved in the seed production the first one says i i i s s t b and c n s c uh c n f s m and d t d s so for this i'm not going to tell you the 
full form of these i would want you all to go back uh, and check out all the full forms and try to find out which one of these is uh, is related is involved in the seed production okay so moving on to the last question in with production of foundation seed needs an isolation distance of we first and foremost uh, we need to understand what an isolation distance is so i've given the uh, definition of an isolation distance here so isolation distance is the minimum separation required between two or more varieties of the same species for the purpose of keeping seed pure so basically suppose this is a plot of land and uh, suppose i'm growing a variety of chili here and another variety of chili here all right so same species but different varieties all right so the distance between these is known as the isolation distance all right so we usually do it to keep the genetically and physically pure all right so these are the two main things that uh, why we keep an isolation distance so uh, let's move on to the question again in wheat production of foundation seed needs an isolation distance of number a five meter number b 10 meter number c 3 meter number d 20 meter all right so the answer for this is 3 meter all right and there's another one uh production of foundation seed and usually you'll find uh sometimes questions might come in in wheat in wheat production of certified seed needs an isolation distance of it might come as either foundation or certified so usually the, there's a different uh there are different uh, isolation distance for foundation as well as certified seeds all right rice say barley oat right and wheat so for these for these four crops the isolation distance for foundation seeds as well as certified seeds is three meter all right I would like you all uh, I have another question for you which I would like or which I would want you all to comment in the comment uh, section so what is the isolation distance or the requirements for four crops it's also known as bindi all right so so I would like you all to comment this on the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and share this video if you've liked it. Thank you so much and we'll meet you for the next session.